everyone Hello everybody, it is Dano here, and today we're taming the Dimetrodon on the Ark. Uh, this is just a little tutorial on how to tame them, what to do, um, and stuff that I found out worked pretty well. Um, we just tranked it, just level 8, with um, how many arrows was it? Like, 3? Uh, yeah. Yep. With about 3 arrows, which was very quick. So, it's good. It doesn't attack you on site. That is also another really good thing. Um, it eats prime meat and raw meat. It also eats um, uh, cooked prime meat. But you got to be very careful though. We've had to give it like 30 narcotics right now. Because it's topo, topo, however you say it, goes down extremely fast. So you really, really need to keep an eye on it. Because it just drops. Yeah. It, wow. Alright guys, well that was a little quick tutorial on how to tame this thing. Uh, yeah, see, look at that topo, topo going down. Jeez, look at it fly down. Yeah. We might have another video on showing what purpose of this new dinosaur is. Yep, we're going to be showing you guys the purpose. Um, yeah, everything about this dinosaur. Uh, you can find them in the swamps. They are in the swamp sections. Shoot at the swamp. Yep. Here we go, go, and we got it. <clears throat> Alright, now you guys are going to listen to my sexy voice reading. Uh, the Dimetrodon uh, Collector? I don't know. I don't know how to say that. It looks like Collector. Is a much calmer predator than most on the island. Because it lives off smaller prey than humans, it generally ignores anything much larger than a uh, Colecanth? I don't know, that's the fish. Dime... I'm under attack, can you please kill it for me? Dimetrodon is one yeah, of yeah, the man. few carnivores on the island that could be classified as reasonably friendly in the wild. Which we, we found that out, it didn't attack us on site, which was very, very rare. The sail on the Dimetrodon's yeah. back is a fascinating thing. It can be angled to provide shade from the sun and allows Dimetrodon to disperse heat more quickly. The inner workings of the sail can also restrict blood flow in the creature to hold in exertive heat. Sorry, excessive oh. heat. Together, these two traits allow Dimetrodon to comfortably survive in any climate. Although, they are most commonly found in the swamplands, which are rich in prey. Domesticated. If Dimetrodon was a bit larger or didn't have that massive sail, it would make a decent mount. However, its main use to survivors is to utilize the sail's insulating capabilities. Just being near a Dimetrodon gives excellent protection from the heat and the cold, which has saved my life through more than one ice blizzard in the frozen Northlands. So yeah, so that's what these things are good for. Okay, there is another new thing out, a beer barrel. Oh yeah. So yeah, guys, um, that, that was how to tame it. Uh, we tamed it up very, very quickly, thank God. Uh, because mm. it, the topo goes down so fast, it eats so fast. It looks mm. sick, look at it. It does look like a pretty cool dino. It does look very, very cool. Dino's bitch, really? Really? The other way, let me take a what? screenshot of this. Uh, actually, no, stand near it, stand near it. Say cheese. Say cheese. There we go, screenshot saved. That's gonna be- oh god. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe for more videos, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.